Henry Stein. There's no one here. Wait, Henry. Oh, it's me. I stand here. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Bindi and the Machine Chapter 5. Uh, if you guys missed last episode where we actually played the entire thing, it was quite a long chapter. I don't know if I was expecting the ending, but it was a freaking crazy ending. Check it out right here. Here's the clip. Reclaim what has been stolen from you. The oh, hi. This is exactly what I wanted. But assuming that you did watch it, um, there's some more stuff that obviously we can see. We can now take that little thing and go uh, with the other chapters. And we also unlock something called the archives. So I don't know what that's all about. And plus, we have not found the meatly on chapter 5 as well. So that's another thing that we should do. Wait, why is the archives locked? I unlocked it. Alright, so uh, we're not- I, I guess we're not playing today. <laughs> it's just not loading. Okay. Also guys, not to mention we're missing 18 achievements from bending the- like that's not acceptable. <laughs> I honestly wish we would have got more Alice action though, okay? We were so excited for her at the end of chapter 4, I feel like she should have had more parts. Um, she did like fight with us a little bit, but I really thought, I guess, that there was gonna be more backstory with her. And that's one kind of criticism that I guess I could give about this ending to chapter 5. It also, like, I don't, I still don't quite know what's happened or what has happened. Is this real or is it fake? That's the thing that I don't know. Because at the end, the little girl says, tell us another story. So, was this a true story or was it a made-up story? That's the thing that we need to know. Like, did it just fly over my head, guys? I don't know. Let me know. I gotta say, Thomas, you piece of crap, you really shown. You you really shown in this episode, okay? Shown? Shined? Shined. I think I'm trying to say shined. Don't want to confuse you guys. I did not notice her halo at first. I don't know why, but yeah, there it is. You're the hope I've been waiting for. The hope that she's been waiting for? So, like, that's what I mean. Like, I feel like it, it, this game kind of gives us more of a... It gives us the feeling that something else is going to happen rather than what did happen. Like, as if there's gonna be more to this story than there was. I don't know. Got a burrito. First meal of the day. It's a bendy day today. This is so magical. <laughs> He's just like, can you not? I didn't take the time to read this either. Wash the dishes. Very interesting message. Um, I'm gonna assume that that's from uh, Alice telling Boris to do that. Because if, if Boris is anything like me, or Tom, if Tom, it's if Tom is anything like me, I don't like to wash dishes. Wait a minute, there's an axe right there. You think we can get that? Probably not, but at the same time, maybe we can. We can also try to go through this entire chapter without dying. That's one thing that we haven't done yet. So I've yet to find any messages that I haven't seen yet. So, I had to go through it again. Alice. I'm starting to realize how buggy this chapter actually is. Tom, <laughs> Why can't I... you put a skip? Where's the skip I button think. on this thing? for not dying. Come here and put your face in my axe. <laughs> what the heck? I've never heard him say that. Sorry guys, my face cam's off, but we have a Boris poster right here, so I don't know. Could be there, but it's always a Boris poster if I'm not mistaken. And there's all kinds of rooms here. Like, definitely, there, I feel like there's gotta be a secret somewhere. Oh my god, if you- so if you die, you get to keep the little slime. That's kind of nice, actually. Okay, so again, Bendy came out of here. I also want to see what Bendy looks like. That's one thing that we never got to see. Where is he? Bendy? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. I didn't get to, I didn't get to read it. Dang it. All right, so this says, who is the man behind the monster? Well, everyone would assume that it's, you know, J J Jerry Springer. Wow. Jerry Drew is what everyone assumes, but again, like, I don't know if this whole game is real or not. Oh, Boris poster. I honestly kind of think it's here, but at the same time, maybe maybe not. I'm gonna take a wild guess though and say after you drain this, if we go back, we'll probably find the meatly cut out behind that Boris poster. It just seems like it would really be a thing. It's a little Boris. And this, yeah, what's up with this wall? This is another thing that's weird to me. What did I say? What did I say? I knew this would be here. Oh, could you stop it? I'm trying to admire the Meatly. Okay, well, I guess I can't. How did I know that that would be it? It's so obvious. Thank you. It says, thank you. Chocolates. He's got a bucket. All right. All right. I think we got it, guys. <laughs> Probably through that door. But it won't be easy to open. I'll need three gears. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Who are you talking to? It's not me. Okay, so you can't go back. Well, now too. we know. 
They will follow you though. They are very loyal. Uh, guys, Gu guys, I can't, I can't get through. Are you kidding? I this, are you, this would be the dumbest way to get stuck. Holy crap! I think I'm actually stuck. And you know, this wouldn't be very much of a problem if it was actually possible to continue the game without it freezing. But it's not. Just move. Oh my god. This is this is uh this is a joke, right? All you have to do is move. <laughs> we have to save the world. <laughs> All you have to do is turn around. Watch, it's gonna freeze. It's not gonna work. Are you telling me this wasn't tested? Not one time. Like this this didn't happen to someone testing this? That's kind of crazy to me. Alright, so that means I have to restart the entire chapter. Again. Akri, thank you so much. So they have a save file uh, where I can just get to the archives. Okay, thank God. Thank heavens! <laughs> oh my God. Now I finally get to see what this is all about. Whoa, whoa. Welcome to the archives. Bendy the Ink Machine began when the developer slash cartoonist known as the Meatly experimented with bringing a sketch 2D style into a 3D world. After turning the idea into a horror game, chapter one of the game was created in little under a week with programmer slash friend Mike Mood and released on February 10th in 2017. Much to their surprise, it struck a chord with global indie gamers almost overnight. The Meat League and Mike Mood decided to drop all of the projects to work on Bendy and tell a most unique ink story. And the entire game was completed a, a chapter at a time in a year and a half by a small but dedicated group of indie developers. Although the concept and story remained as originally intended, the game changed over development as characters and models were refined from the early thrown together versions. This archive is a peek behind the scenes at the process. Oh! Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. It's called the archive, so it's just uh, what everything else looked like or what it was gonna look like at one point. That's pretty cool. You kind of get to see the little behind the scenes uh, stuff. So this is original ink machine. Before a major visual upgrade, this version of the ink machine was the one used in the game. Much of this machine's iconic fan love design was translated into the final version. Yeah, <laughs> I like the newer version better. But also, we even have the other machine that was at the end. It was like all rusted. It looked like th it looked a lot like this one, but it was uh, smaller. Uh, we got Brute Boris over here. So that's what it's called. Alice Angel's monstrosity, Brute Boris, was one of the biggest surprises of Chapter Four. His decision was roughly based on the Frankenstein monster, but with the more unfinished appearance, Alice took parts from within him and substituted things that his body is rapidly rejecting. That is, yeah, that would, that's right. Boris the Wolf, a friend to the end, was designed using various references from cartoons of the 1920s, a blend of West Coast and East Coast animation styles. This silent and supportive wolf won over the hearts of many, although at times he was a headache for the development team due to his AI taking on a mind of its own during production. Yeah, I think there was like some glitches about that that they kind of shown. Beta Boris. Wait a minute, I think this was the original one, huh? Oh my god, what a big difference. Papa was the original name of the character that eventually became Boris the Wolf. This early version was released with chapter one. He was quickly refined into the Boris we know today with the release of chapter two. Yeah, thank god. Oh, oh so they're not gonna give uh, these names? That's weird. I still want to know more about this Alice Angel, like the differences and how that happened. I'm thinking maybe it's going to be expanded later on in something else because they did say that the world of, uh, I think they said on Twitter that the world of Vindy is not over yet, so who knows. Final Sammy. Sammy Lauren's final form came complete with a bulked up sat uh, stature and more powerful limbs, the mad songwriter may finally get noticed now, at least by fans. And this was Beta Sammy. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what is this guy? With this first appearance in Chapter 2, fan favorite Sammy Lawrence became a terrifyingly entertaining character. When his slim build was deemed not threatening enough, he was redesigned and given a, given a better skeletal rig for more advanced animation. This is you versus the guy that she told you not to worry about. Like, look at this. Ooh, okay, so I want to know the name of this one. This is Beast Bendy. Eating Bendy's horrific final form in Chapter 5 pulled away the cartoon facade and revealed the demon within. I mean, to be honest, I don't know what I was expecting, but I definitely wasn't expecting this. So another thing to note is that his leg, he's actually missing a foot just completely. He doesn't, I, or is it just me? Is it just the way he looks or is he actually missing a foot? It looks like he doesn't have one of his feet. 
or it's really like jacked up which is why he doesn't walk which would explain that this is Joey Drew right but I guess what I expected is like Bendy to just kind of like Reveal himself to be Joey Drew? I don't know. This is Ink Bendy. Ink Bendy as we know him today. Although similar to Beta Bendy, this uh, upgraded version was remodeled, enhanced with a higher polygon count and given new ink effects. Yep, that's him, all right. Oh my god. <laughs> This one doesn't actually look that bad though. This was Ink Bendy's form until the release of Chapter 4. At the time, the game received a major visual upgrade and the title character got a new model as well. Yeah, so this one's not, it's not too bad. You can see that they really were, you know, kind of knew what they wanted from the beginning. And then we got whatever this is. Alpha Bendy. This is the original game used design of Ink Bendy from the earliest versions of Chapter 1. It is jokingly referred to as a bird poop with a smile among the development team. Yeah, that's, that's pretty correct. So this is Concept Bendy. This is the first version of Bendy ever modeled. In the earliest concepts, Bendy was much smaller and cuter with the face that split open to reveal a terrifying mouth. Now, that does make sense because that's, you know, because the way he looks. This looks more like his cardboard cutouts compared to those. I gotta say, I'm glad they went with these ones. <laughs> it looks much more scarier. Henry Stein, there's no one here. Wait, Henry, oh, it's me. I stand here. <laughs> Standing proud. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that's funny, but you're not gonna show them man. That's so unfair So it is cool though. We get to learn a little bit about Henry. So his last name is Stein Once an equal business partner of Joey Drew Henry Stein was a talented animator and character designer until leaving the company around 1930 his place in Joey Drew Studios history is somewhat undocumented, but he is often rumored to be the true creator behind many of the studio's most memorable characters. I still say it's Bendy, I don't care. That's weird though, no descriptions for Alice Angels at all? Or Tom? That's odd. And then we got the Butcher Gang. The Piper, Striker, and Fisher make up for the dreaded Butcher Gang. Interestingly, the ink corrupted versions of the characters were designed first, and then were reverse engineered back into their more family-friendly cartoon forms. And then we got this. <laughs> Danger, keep out. Why are you making it sound like I can go in there? Also, why does he have to be trapped in a bubble? Isn't that weird? If I were to take a guess, they're definitely like gonna expand on this later on. You can stand on Beast Bendy. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry if this is a short episode. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna be able to get out of that. There's definitely more things that we that we need to check out. I know we're gonna use the Greenhouse N13 trainer pretty soon, which we'll really get to take a look at some of the behind of the scenes. We know in every chapter they include some hidden things outside of the map, so that's gonna be really exciting, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and be sure to check out my last episode of Bendy if you haven't already. No scrub of the day today. All right, all right, bye-bye.